days, but it feel like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. At this time, I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she's down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract them, no maybe In the meantime In the meantime I don't know you want Everybody be like Odell. Oh, oh, oh. No, my mom, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mom, cause I knew you off the shelf. Oh, now my bitch is to Chanel. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get a little baby. In the meantime, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit only been a few hours, but it feel like days Only been days, but it feel like months Only gone for a year, only go like once Life move fast and do what you want In the meantime I can stop doing what I want In the meantime Hi guys welcome back to my channel i am shannon if you're new here welcome and if you haven't already subscribed just please subscribe um or leave a thumbs up on the video i would really really appreciate it but as usual it's saturday and bailey and i are ready to head out on the road i would have shown you guys what i've been up to this morning which is uh, exercise which i started doing back but i'm gonna pressure myself so i'm doing like low-key stuff giving myself grace because listen i don't want anything like mentally stressful so i just taking my time to work my way back into exercising so i've been doing the grow with joe which i've done her exercises previously so i know that they're not like high intensity exercise so if you're looking for like a low like move your body type of exercise nothing too rigorous i would definitely recommend her videos she's on youtube they're free she have a variety at like she have 10 minutes workout 20 minutes workout 45 minutes workout so for me i generally do sometimes i'll do the 45 sometimes i'll do the 20 it just depends on what i have going on but yeah and i got ready i got bailey ready and of course she's coming to see what's going on ah. but um yeah we are going on the road to run some errands i want to check out two stores i didn't know that kuchiana had a home decor store so i i was passing there i was going to hot off the press and i was walking by and i'm like wait kuchiana have a home decor store so i said yeah definitely want to go back and check that out i saw that they had baskets there and i'm looking for a basket to put the plant um one of the four plants that i have in and i also want to check out um what is her name the local yeah they're close by to kuchina because they're on what are the name i don't remember but they're close by so i want to stop in there and check it out as well i don't have anything specific in mind that i want but i just want to um check it out so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna make sure that i transfer enough money in my checking account actually before i'm gonna embarrass myself before i see something that i want and embarrass myself so i'll just transfer some funds now and then we are going to head out Billy already but yeah let me just transfer this money and then hopefully they will allow hopefully they will allow us to record inside their stores so i plan to take you guys with me so we'll see how that goes but it's been such a productive morning and i just feel good like i'm in a good mood a really really good mood so 
it's gonna be a good day and then this evening we have a little family date plan just me billy and doing our family date night um so we should see how that goes Dwayne and i went to the movies this week we went on our date night on wednesday we went to watch wait was it this week lies it was last friday but i didn't record i've been with auntie yeah you were with auntie candice no yes no not auntie tracy you were staying with auntie candice that night i did with auntie candice in the morning i did with auntie tracy in the evening no it was during the daytime you stayed with auntie tracy and then in the evening you stayed with auntie candice but yeah we went to watch bob marley movie which is a really nice watch i just thought it would have gone a little deeper into his life like not so much focus on just like a short time frame and just his music so i really think that they have room to actually make other movies because it really never got deep it never got deep in i'm love life it never got deep in like his personal struggles or his relationship with his father and stuff like that which i was looking forward to you know like things that we really don't know about him we kind of pretty much know the music with all the documentaries with it everywhere so i was hoping for a little bit more but it's still a good watch and i always say like anything jamaican Dwayne and I, well, we always try to go out and support because the truth is if we don't go out and support our local um, products, although it, I wouldn't say it's like local, local, but it's basically a promotion of our, our, it's basically a promotion of our culture and so on. So if we as Jamaicans don't go out and support it, how we expect, oh, Bailey. But yeah, I always say that anytime there's anything jamaican based like anything promoting our culture anything i will 100 percent support it because the truth is if we don't support our culture and push for our culture like who else will expect to support it so i always try so if you haven't seen it i suggest that you go out and watch it it's just an easy cool watch you know just say yeah support the team that type of when i hear the snoring round the back but that's my little parry sleeping oh by the way you guys i love this um body butter i don't know if you guys can see it, uh, the name but yeah it's from a local store that doing got my birthday box like if you had watched my birthday vlog he got me like a box from this local store and they have um the body butter in the box and i don't even know what the store name to be on i think it's k it's k w bloom you got a box from i believe it's k w bloom but the brand this is teselli yeah teselli and it's like a vanilla i'm not a big fan of vanilla so i don't love it necessarily for the scent i really just like how it feel and how my skin just look hydrated and just shiny and silky and it just feels so good but yeah i love i love this body butter so highly highly recommend i, I believe it's kw bloom he bought it but yeah when i get the butter like a girl here who was sleeping now sleeping and snoring here she is bailey johnson bailey johnson and it ran into you know but i really want it to be in and out so let's let's try see if we can wake her up and get in the store so we can get out finally awake This is my vibe for sure. And these are the baskets that I'd seen. 
so nice. Oh my goodness. I love this. This basket. This one. This one. You okay, baby? No. You're not okay? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? You want to go home? You have any shorter ones? What, like just like this, but shorter? How much is this one? Oh, here it is. 13 here. Okay. I really like the artwork. Really, really nice. This one. <laughs> you okay? Okay. No? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah, the gold and the silver would make it perfect for the living room. Mm -hmm. It can record music. Yeah, like this artwork would be perfect in my living room. Perfect. Yes, baby. Doggy. Yeah, it's a golden dog. Oh, I this is Falcon. Hello, mommy. Huh? This is Falcon. Hello. Yes, a cozy pig. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You ready? Oh, I will hold it. You can't manage it, baby. I can't. Mm -hmm. You can't manage it. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty. Even the thing on the door is pretty. Really? So cute. Do you see all these beautiful things? Look at these. <gasps> yeah, those this are mommy. They're rings. Eldritch one and the height one. <laughs> I don't think it can fit you. See, it's too big for you. Alright, mommy's gonna get you another hard one. But they're pretty, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's barely a mama. mama look at these. <laughs> you love it? It's so cute, right? Hi. Hi guys. We're good. You need any We're just looking around. It's our first time here. Oh, yours. It's, 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 a, it's a nice doggy. Oh. He's like a teddy bear. He's so you want to go and pet him? Yeah. You just have to be gentle. Be gentle. Let him smell you first. He's a nice doggy. See? He's being so calm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to smell you a little first. See, like mm. he's smelling your mommy. Mm. Mm. Hi. So cute. See? Feel his fur. Be like gentle. It sounds like I have a toy. Yes, so yeah. Like <laughs> I have a toy dog. Yes, you do. I actually have this. It's so funny. I think this is Ria Imani. And so cute. Yes, he is really cute. I just like that. Yeah, well, it's everything. 
Oh, doggy following you, mommy. I like this a lot. Yeah. These are nice as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like this one for mommy? Mm -hmm. I want one for me. You, girl, this, these are for adults. Wait. I love. <laughs> mommy, look at this. Mm, it's cute. Mommy, what? Mm, I think I'm gonna get this. <laughs> mommy, our dog is on the body. Paws under the table. It's okay. Alpha Boys music. Oh, okay. So they have a playlist there. So you can actually sit so down actually and listen. Yes, it does. Let me just turn it on to you. That's so cool. So you can actually sit and listen to the playlist. We are back home now and today was such a nice little mommy and me shopping day. It was so nice, right Bailey? Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part? Pink store. What do you like about the pink store? It's so beautiful. Okay. All right. Come and tell him about the pink store. Come. <laughs> By the way, she's talking about um, local. Which was your favorite store? Tell local. them. Tell them about the pink store. What did you like about it? Local. Yes, the local. But what did you like about it? I like the wood gun and the doggy. And what else? And the... When we came out, she was like, that is such a beautiful, it's like a beautiful house. I love that store. Can it was me? like a beautiful house. Like, it was such a good day. Like all the stories were chef's kiss and it was just perfect. And Bailey's at like the right age where she's mature enough where I can take her to the stores and not worry. Like she'll just walk around, look at things. If I tell her don't touch something, she won't touch it. You know, like that type of vibe. So it's really nice to be able to like go out and do things with her now without having to like worry about or oh, changing diaper, I pack bottles and like, you know, all of that thing. And then she touching everything and crying. And yeah, so she's like at that nice sweet spot where it's not very stressful to shop with her. But yeah, we've been back home. We had stopped at um, Sugar and Spice and we got patties and cupcakes, which I'm, I love tasting this patty, but when you get it from Sugar and Spice, it's just like next level. So <laughs> that was good. But let me show you. Oh, I also did a TikTok unboxing my Allure Beauty Box, my February Beauty Box, which I'm going to show you guys um, the stuff in there. But first, let's just go through the things that I got today so the first thing from Kuchiana home store is this basket which I love it I love it so much like the quality is really 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 good really good and I'm going to be using it as a planter the four the four fig that I have over like the dining room area I'm, it's not in anything so I plan to put it in this and I also want it to be higher. So I want to like stack probably some books or something in here and then put the plant on top of it and then stuff it. And yeah, it's a trick I saw on Instagram. 
so that's why I got this basket and it's just big and nice and I love it and I can use it for other purposes too if I don't want to use it as like a planter but yeah the Coachella store was their home decor store Mwah. like everything in there is just right up my alley like my home decor style it's just modern because yeah I really I really like the stuff that they have in there the prices is Jamaica that's all I have to say. It's 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 Jamaica, and they have to import their stuff and all of that. But it's not uh, it's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It it can it can go on if you need like a special piece or something like yeah. And um and the staff was good too. They're cool. So that was a good time. Then we went to the local, not well local, <laughs> and that store was so pretty like they did so good with the decor and everything and the staff was just really nice as well Bailey loved that because she yeah. saw the a puppy in there and also this little girl she was playing with it was just really nice when we came out um she was like mommy that store is so beautiful it's like a beautiful house the pink store is so beautiful so she had a good time and you were playing with the doggy mommy mm -hmm. i have a beard Billy, that's not a beard <laughs> but yeah so i got two things from there um the first thing is this earring they told me it's a local brand i've never heard of the brand but i saw the earrings and they were cute it's what the gilded stone i probably should go on instagram and look at their page because all their like accessories that's in there is like super cute so i got this these earrings and it's right up my alley so nice it's like a raffia material really nice and i love the packaging as well this is like a velvet case and they have their name on it which is really nice very impressive but although I'm sure that all the vendors in um, local are like you know top rated local vendors they also have Rhea Imani in there as well which is good because you know I love a little Rhea Imani so that was fun I also got this Bumble Beauty body butter And I've always um, wanted one of the body butters. My nail tech. Yeah, my nail tech actually is the one that told me about the brand. And she said, the body butters are so nice. So I say, it's been on my local wish list. Let me see if I can open this and come back. So yeah, it's been on the list of things that I wanted to get. So I'm glad that they had it in stock. And I was thinking of getting the honey one, but the assistant there she she said that she really prefers this although the honey one is the popular one she really preferred this scent and this is in white sand so let's see Billy I'm going to open it give it to me thank you very much mine? no this one is not yours baby it's mommy please open it I still open it but yeah let me smell it um it don't really have a strong scent to me but let's see how moisturizing it is if it's good as the other body butter that i have in the car as i was showing you guys i think it's tesselli but yeah i'm a body butter girl so let me see okay okay Okay, Bumble Beauty. Mommy took them out. It feels good. Bailey Johnson, why you take on airing them, you girl? But yeah, it feels good. I feel like the Tesselli is a little richer to me than this. I guess it probably have more oil because my hands would be like super shiny, but this is really, really nice. 
I don't mind this at all. And the scent is subtle. I can't tell you what it smells like, but it's like a subtle, a subtle smell. Yeah, I just had to put the one Bailey she down for a nap because that's the only way I can get some peace in this place. And I also need to tidy up the place after. Like she's stoned because trying to tidy up the place is and tidying up the place is her toys. That's what I'm talking about. So I'll do while she's napping. I'll just straighten up the place. But yeah, the Allure box now. So today was a good shopping day. I didn't do any major damage. So that's good. Alright, so for so yeah, I got my February Allure box finally. Um, my shipping company, well, I changed shipping company now because they have been slacking. And when I'm in the pollution, it's like, why are you sitting down with my item like for three weeks? It just don't make any sense. But anyway, I changed my shipping company now, so I won't have that problem anymore. <laughs> All right, so this is the box, and I, I've told you guys already, um, well, if you've seen my previous, like, unboxing of these Allure boxes, it's $25, well, it worked out to $26, actually, like, 26 something, like, with tax and everything. Per month, you can actually skip a box if you are not interested. If you see the spoiler and you're not interested in any other items, you can just skip that box for that month but um i tend to really like the boxes because i love skincare and this like a lower beauty box is mainly like skincare focused they might put in a few hair product and makeup every now and then but for the most part is mainly like skincare items that you're getting so if you're a skincare girly like this is definitely the subscription box for you so the first thing in this box is that i'm going to show you guys is the lush happy skin and uh, let me check the book where's the book <laughs> you also get a book that discusses the products and tell you what it retails for etc etc so yeah so it's a lush happy skin and this is a uh, exfoliant so yeah I'm excited to use it use this I'm gonna use it tomorrow actually because I love a good exfoliator or exfoliant exfoliant or exfoliator let me see what word they use exfoliator so yeah this is what it looks like let me see if it's grainy no it's not grainy so it's chemical yeah they say it's an enzymic facial exfoliator so we'll see. I'm excited to try this. The other thing is this Ahava Moisturizer, Essential Day Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. I always love a good moisturizer. Like, you can't go wrong with moisturizer. So I always like when it's in the box. Because I tend not to spend money on moisturizer because we always get one in the box. This feels good. Not oily or greasy. Yeah, it feels really good. I think I'm gonna like this. What else? Then we have this um, formula Prescott Balm Cleanser Stick. Oh, let me show you guys the box. Oh, that's the box. And this is a full size. This is a full size item. I forgot to uh, mention. So this is not full size. This is half. Um, this is a deluxe sample. So this the Lush. It's half. And the full size retail, which is 100 grams. Retails for $26 and this is 50 grams. So that's half of it. So that's what 13 the value of this would be like $13 and this the Ahava Moisturizer this is a full size and this retails for Guess a whopping $78 <laughs> so yeah um, 
back to this back to back to let's keep on track so this tri balm they said that it's a uh, cleanse it cleanse it exfoliates and it moisturize so um i don't know i'm so curious about it it's like a roll-on you guys can see so i'm very curious as to how to use this it says run the stick over dry skin and then rinse or wipe it away the formula comes off easily while those oils leave you feeling soft and smooth so i don't know if it is that it should be used on like makeup free skin probably but this is very 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 interesting a very interesting product i'm going to do some more research but um it is full size and it retails for 40 dollars i'm looking at this <laughs> The other thing we got the commodity milk perfume sample and I smell this already so I know it smells good I'm actually wearing it because I did spray it on myself when I did the unboxing for TikTok but this is it it's a sample size and we always love a good sample size to throw in our bags and yeah it smells good not my favorite would I buy the full size no but it smells good for the purpose of you know being a sample then we have this beauty jasmine brow boss brow styling wax the box and then this is what it is and it's like a clear gel which I've used already when I was doing my TikTok um, unboxing and I really actually like it. I've never been like a brow wax type of girl but this was, this seemed alright. I feel like it's going to get some use because it did keep my brows like in place and like smooth it out. So I am really going to be using this product. So, so far I'm loving the box. So the last item, which actually was the thing that I was most excited about for the box, is this YSL lipstick balm. Oh my gosh, guys. If you don't know, like YSL is like my favorite luxury brand and I have a little collection going on and I'm so excited to add this to my collection. It's so cute. And this is a full size lip balm and I already tried it so I really like and I like the formula uh, I put on Bailey to sleep my hair in there but anyway really love love this like this this sold me and this retails for $48 so the box itself was for what $26 and I have full size products in there for 48 and this one is for 78 so definitely worth it and i'm going to be using all of these items i really love february's box and i'm excited to see what is going to be in a march box so i'll show if i don't skip it when it come you know i'll show you guys but yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to go try and set up the basket and see how that work if it looks good and then we're gonna tidy up the plate yeah so this is the plant that i was telling you that i want to use the basket as a planter for so let's see how it looks because i want it higher to like this high i would stack stuff on it but that's all it would be it which i like but i'm gonna stack some books and we'll see i have all these books that i'm gonna uh, put in it and see how high we can get the plant and what it's like up here well hopefully the books can actually hold in the basket let's see all right let's try this one first the book name too big. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I need 
any shorter books. Smaller books. And these are doing dental books, you know. <laughs> From dental school that I'm using. Hold on, wait. Maybe if I do one and it stops. Yeah, this yeah, this not gonna work. Alright, let's use these and then I'm gonna try to find some other books. Alright, so I got some of my personal development books that I'm currently not reading, so let's try and see how high we can get this. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'm gonna try and use this throw to kind of like stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna use this throw to kind of like stuff around it a bit to kind of hide the books and to keep it snug. This throw blanket. And then I will order some stuff online to kind of finish fixing it up but for now this is that's all right for now then i'll get um like the four masks and stuff and put around it but i need to order those stuff on amazon all right, so let me show you guys the difference if you were not able to kind of see in terms of the height. Let me just take it out and put it beside it. And then you'll be able to see the difference that the height, um, the stacking of the books actually made. So the tree actually looks a lot bigger and taller than it is right such a big difference absolutely love it yeah what huh it's raining yes it's raining um so we're basically ready to head out to our little family date night we're going to dinner and because we're having a cold front and it's actually raining right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we're dressed for the weather. I'm wearing this knitted, it's fairly thick, this knitted sweater dress from that I got from ASOS. And it's like off the shoulder. It's really cute. And it's like a midi. Let me see if you guys can see. But yeah, it's fairly thick, so it should keep me warm. If anything, then I can always... Like if I'm really really cold, I can pull this up. But yeah, Bailey, come and show them what you're wearing. <laughs> and Bailey is wearing this cute sweater set. No set. Huh? Set. It's, a, it's a sweater set from H and M with this ruffle thingy, and it comes with the matching sweatpants. And yeah, Bailey. Stop being silly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we are dressed for the weather. Right, Bobo? Yeah. So hopefully it goes well because it's raining now, but I really don't want to let that stop us. So hopefully there is a like covered area and stuff because we're going to Grand Port Royal Hotel. But yeah, I was really looking forward to it being like nice weather so we can like look out and enjoy the evening and even see some fishes. <laughs> some fishes! But yeah, fishy, we'll see. Fishy, club, club, fishy, All right, we'll talk fishy. to you guys once we are there. Dwayne is actually getting ready because not too long ago come home from work. So we're just waiting on him to get ready and then we will head out. Shopping in Paris or go sailing 
overseas and just drape me in Gucci, no. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you alone. All I ever asked was you to show me some love, kisses, and hugs. No, I never had an issue. Go to the club with your boys, baby. I never wanted you to stay too long. Just wanted you to show me up. So won't you say my name? Good morning, morning beautiful people. You hear Billy? Like from she wake up, I don't know. She wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning and a pure like problems. She crying unnecessarily. I don't know what is going on with her. She's going through a little thing. But yeah, what I'm doing right now is we are. Billy Johnson, what is going on with you? What is going on with you? But yeah, um, I was about to start making breakfast. I'm going to make my famous pancakes. But I realized we don't have enough flour, so we need to do a supermarket run. So I might as well... I just kind of do the supermarket run for the week. What we've been doing like for the past three weeks that. I said a little girl there. What we've been doing for the past three weeks is we do like a plan. A meal plan for the entire week. Because I found that I was just getting. <laughs> but can't deal with Bailey, you know? But I know what going with her, honestly. yeah i was getting like decision exhausted you know like when you have like so much decision to make and like one of the decisions like every single day what what we're supposed to be eating i keep getting interrupted because this is a good girl is so dramatic <laughs> what's going on with your baby baby do you want to go back to bed You know, get the tablet not finished charging. You want the tablet to stay? Yeah. Um. So because I usually get so frustrated, like every single day, trying to figure out what we're supposed to eat. What we've been doing now is like on a Sunday, we just plan out everything that we're going to eat for the week and then do the shopping for the things that we don't have so i'll just go through the fridge to see what we have um add those to the list and what we don't have we just purchase but trust me it's been helping so much in terms of the prep for yeah it's been helping a lot to take out some of the pressure like during the week because the last thing we want to think about like when we at work the whole day is what we're gonna be eating for dinner so yeah that's what i'm about to do right now there's yeah, mi there's mints there's mints in the fridge so thursday we can do um mints and what With the pot, with the spaghetti. Hold on, why did you do that? Or we're, we're in the One day we can do um corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage with food. Bit grown for the shop. Bailey. Um, Thursday, the only thing we don't have is for Thursday. Yeah, so what I would do, like on a Sunday, we just write the menu for the week on this acrylic board. I believe I got this from Amazon. On Monday, we're going to do corned beef and cabbage. 
and as usually with like ground provision and then Tuesday I have stew peas because I look in the fridge and I realize that we have pigtail and stuff stew peas I will know that that will be with white rice so I don't need to put that on Wednesday we have chicken foot soup we have Thursday I'll have mince and spaghetti and then Friday we generally eat out yeah and during the week is our nanny that generally does most of the cooking so this helps like guide everybody so everybody on the same page and we know what we're cooking what we have and yeah so that's how I kind of take off that decision making load off of me so yeah I was taught I was also talking to my sister for a little while because I put her on to season 12 of married at first sight listen if you don't want something entertaining to watch that is like filled with drama and just like really nice at the same time like if you're a fan of love is blind i would highly recommend you watch married at first sight but specifically like season 12 the american one so good so i had my sister i told her to watch it so she'd been sending me voice notes in relation to like all the drama and everything that's happening so i was listening to that as if it was a podcast and then i called and we were discussing it so that's been taking up some of my time this morning but i'm gonna put on a church service now because it's 11 o'clock and watch that while i make the breakfast and wait for Dwayne and bailey to get back so that's what i'll be up to right now squander unity and unity is how god works unity is what brings about miracles what brings about power and the way that we fight against division is that we must be people who forgive. Forgive, the way I wrote it down this week, is that forgive others, give for. Forgive, give for. Give love for hope tomorrow. Give mercy for peace today. Give grace for a better future. Give today for you will be in need tomorrow forgive give for give for we have to fight to be united because all of hell and everything about the enemy in this world is trying to divide and break up your home and for don tree and i we want to fight for the next four weeks we believe there's some marriages in this house but maybe you're hanging on by a thread. Maybe you even came today. You're like, yo, this is the last ditch effort to try to see if we can save this thing. I just want to say, give us four weeks. Let's see what God can do over the next four weeks. He can bring about restoration. The only thing we're having this morning are these pancakes. So let me just plate them up. Babe, I'm giving you three. You're doing one of the burnt ones <laughs> it's not really burnt burnt but it's like a taste good same way i'm sure and i made a berry compote with the rainforest berries so that should be enough Let me do a nice little close up plating these. You know, I usually do my little close up. to leave 
the link to the recipe that I use like perfection but anyway Bailey's nappy now so I can just like relax in peace but I'm gonna edit a TikTok and then afterwards I probably end up going in the kitchen and season the meat I'm really not in the cooking vibe but I'm gonna cook today I'm just so annoyed but anyway I wanted to tell you guys about last night at the restaurant listen it's the grand excelsior hotel in port royal the only hotel in port royal and every restaurant that Dwayne and i we used to love the last time i went there was probably like maybe five years ago or something like that but listen customer service non-existent non-existent we have to literally tell the guy to um can we get utensils can we get a glass of water like everything when he brought out the stamp and go which that's a whole other story he was like um so no Dwayne said to him what about the utensils he's like because his finger food will never bring out none like really really come on like people come the moment you sit at the table you're supposed to get your utensils and you know you like a glass of water and stuff so customer service mm -mm. then the stamp and go in the middle raw as in raw as in the paste you can you squeeze it and you see it squirting out the only saving grace was the ambience like afterwards like on the outside it was really nice you were able to see the city lights it wasn't that cold because the rain had stopped and um the fish they taste good the fish they taste good not gonna lie the bami not so much but the fish they taste good but mm, not gonna recommend it was a nice little vibe in terms of us as a family and on the swing and whatever but besides that no they changed the owner and like i don't know like mm -mm. And they used to be like really known for their club sandwich like it's one of the things like for years I loved and mm -mm. that's why we were just like okay we'll have to get the club sandwich and then we're going to get the fish mm -mm. no it's a it's a it's a no it's a cute little vibe if you want to go to have a drink because our amarita so uh, they were good if you want to like carry out like a date and you just kind of want to get out of kingston kingston and go somewhere where there's not like a lot of people and you have a nice view a nice good vibe for a drink only a drink i would recommend there but besides that it's a no <laughs> for dinner we're making like a roast potato well a roast ch roast chicken with potatoes and of course this one is in the kitchen wanting to help Yep. so oh, this job. is what we're working with this is the before and i'm about to put it in the oven now honestly truly like today honestly. has been such a stressful day with bailey i don't know what she's going through i just think it's the entire weekend i don't know what bailey i got through but she's just been giving us a hard time today she don't want to listen it's just been uh, stressful and i'm big on gentle Ow. parenting but sometimes she just uh, yeah you don't even understand like the patience that she requires like she's all sweet and everything but to barely give talking talking and she back talks it's just like everything like right now i'm in her room i'm trying to tidy up and organize and change out her her caddy because i just want to put like this is what i'm talking about we used to when she was a baby we put her diapers and stuff in it but no i just want to use it strictly like for hair products and like everyday stuff that we use so i'm in here trying to organize and she just would not allow me to and i'm doing this while the food in the oven but i mean why you do that look at the room look Oh, messy Bailey room is. And my room is not messy. Bailey, you need to organize your toys. 
I'm tired of telling you. Cut all this mess. We got this extra one. You're not funny. You're giving mommy and daddy a hard time. Why are you being rude today? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You need to be a good girl. Are you going to be a good girl? Yes. Listen, I'm not buying that. And when you see like Dwayne getting really stern with her, you must know because he is like the softest with his princess. And him just have a wild her up, like, because she does not listen to anything anybody's saying. It's crazy, and we're trying our best to hold on to gentle parenting, but it's been a struggle. And she's also going through a phase where she's like, Mommy, I don't, I don't love you. I, I love my daddy. I don't love you, Mommy. Go away. I don't want you in my room, and all of that and yes it hurt my feelings but i know it's a phase so i'm still trying to you know show up and like just show her love even though some of the things that she Mommy, would say is like hurtful me. but we've just been going through it with this little girl so just just pray pray for us pray for us <laughs> but yeah i'm organizing her stuff here in the caddy and like throwing out like a and this a and d like diaper rush cream like stuff like this we're getting rid of and keeping like the <coughs> hair stuff but Mommy. oh let me show you guys this i bought this for her because i never know so like toddlers armpit can smell <laughs> so i found this on amazon and it's yeah, like Mom, all natural it's like a deodorant and it smells good and it actually keeps your arm fresh i don't really um yeah i don't really use it every single day on her just like when she have pe and i know that she's going to be running up and down and sweating so that's when i'll put it under her arms so yeah it's been working out <laughs> It's a basket now with all of the hair stuff. Lily, do you realize how neat and tidy the room is now? I go, I go cook fish. Bailey, do you do you have anything to say for yourself? You see how neat and tidy the room is? I don't want you to make anything. I want you to keep the room tidy. You hear me? is a very lazy Sunday dinner but it'd be like that sometimes just roast chicken and potatoes all right so I'm coming on to close out the vlog we don't have much going on for the rest of the evening and I'm trying to do better with closing out the vlog so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like and most importantly subscribe I do appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye